yo, 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 yo. Don't touch nothing. I, you always, to... See, you always playing another music. Oh. Look. Welcome, 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 welcome. welcome. I've got to charge my uh my headphones off. That's why I got this dumb ass. <laughs> ah, that looks I think stupid. I can I think I can unplug <laughs> it though. Maybe I could be able to Hello? Yeah, we can. Can I still hear it in here? Okay. Um Welcome, 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 welcome. It is Ooh. Monday. Margarita Mondays, but as I said before, we are drinking Jack Daniels today. Shout out to my boy Jack Daniels. What's up, Jack? So Today is Monday, where we have the Will Sum It Up podcast every single Monday, 7 p.m. Today at 6.30, so we apologize about that. We just yes. want to get things started a little bit early because we got some shit to do later we on. We got some shit to do. You know what I'm saying? But we love y'all, and we couldn't cancel, so... so you already know what is, it is. This is the Will Sum It Up podcast, where you hey, have two people. Yes, two perspectives. One common goal, people, and what is that? That answers. is answers. Answers. So we come down here. We come here every single Monday to give you the juice, to find out the juice, to give you the knowledge, to, to receive the, the knowledge. We need what y'all got. Y'all got what we need. You understand what I'm saying? Exactly. So today we got um, a real... I, I, we need to make one adjustment before we get started. Um, your people can't see me, so you need to adjust your camera. Oh, okay. Sorry. All right. What's up, Brittany? Hey, Heather. What's up, Jenny? So now y'all can see all, all of her here. and all of her head, okay? So yeah, thank you for really seeing all of her, her flaws, y'all. <laughs> so today, why don't you go ahead and kick it? Why don't you go ahead and introduce everything today? All right. So, so I've been feeling some type of way. I'm just playing. Um, so we were talking about topics because we have like a list of topics. And so <clears throat> what we would like to do is we would like for you guys to send us some topics because we want to just make sure that we're giving you guys what you need and what, you know, some good juicy stuff and for y'all to hear our perspectives, right? And if y'all don't give us topics, that means that what we're, the, 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 content the lane and the content giving. that we're giving you it's understood and it's good. So, it's good. but you know, yeah. we, like, we would love to hear your voice. You know, when we're traveling through the highways and the byways of this podcast. Yeah. You know what I mean? So. <clears throat> yeah. So tonight, what we're gonna do is we're gonna talk about something that uh, I think that everybody has experienced, at least if you're about sixteen and older. So um, that's pretty much our audience, right? Maybe fourteen. It could be 14, but we say, I'll say at least 16, at least. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <clears throat> so we are going to talk about, we're going to give you guys instructions on how. Or I'm going to turn this glass around because Jack Daniels is not paying us yet. Yeah. Okay. So uh, I ain't promoting that shit. Right. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so um, if y'all can't, um, I guess, if y'all didn't really recognize, we are definitely looking for some, um, some paid advertisement. So if you guys want to talk about anything or want us to introduce anything, you know, just hit our DMs and yeah, we'll hit make the sure. DMs, you know what I'm saying? You want to advertise your business or whatever thing like that, hit the DMs because, you know, you got to get it while, get it, get it while, while we ain't where we want to be yet. Yeah. But once we get there, we're going to be acting bougie. We ain't, ain't, ain't going to be, <laughs> when we move into this new house, we ain't going to be able to be touched. <laughs> I'm just joking. Um, oh, oh. <laughs> Okay, uh, anyways, funny, we are yeah. going to be talking about how to get over a breakup or how to get over a heartbreak because it's really hard and it's, it's, not, um, it's not easy. Well, you know, most people, uh, if they've been in some type of relationship, uh, breaking up is one of the hardest things you can do. So many people stay in the relationships longer than what they want to because because that heartbreak, it's so hard to get over being maybe in, in heavy like with someone or he, or in love with someone. And once you get in love with someone, it's so hard to just, now we're not together anymore. You know what I'm saying? So Yeah. Because usually when you're in a relationship, you, you think that um, y'all going to be together for a long time or hopefully forever. And sometimes it just doesn't go that way. So we're gonna give you guys some instructions step by step on how. Or well, do you want to talk about the scenarios first? Well, I want to just talk first. I want to talk about like usually like like 
how long usually would, would people say that it takes for someone to get over a heartbreak or a breakup? Like, cause you know, I, I, it's different for everyone, but we kind of want to just kind of, so if you're on and you want to give your opinion of, of how long maybe it took you to get over one of your breakups, um, I would say me, I think my first heartbreak happened when I was like 17, I think. And, uh, yeah, I was a, and, and that's the thing. Like when you, when you're young, you yeah. start developing feelings because the more time you spend with somebody, like you, you start Two developing years. these feelings, you know what I'm saying? Two years? Two years. Damn. But okay. No, that, that's, no, no, that's, no, 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 no. There's nothing wrong with that. Cause I mean, breaking up with somebody is, it's hard to repair like what's been broken because you have a broken heart. Now you got to take all the pieces and you got to try to glue them together or maybe sew them together One or, year. you know, maybe have surgery. I mean, like, no, so. No, it is surgery. It is surgery. It's definitely surgery. So you got to think about the, um. So what like, about you? How long has it took me? Yeah. I it mean, like. Has, uh, I'm going to be completely honest. Um, I always did the, 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 uh. Pick me up or type. I'll just go talk to somebody else. Okay, but um, how long? Like we gonna get to long? that in a little bit. But. Um, how I'll say how long I think because I really don't remember. I mean, it could be any time. Uh, I would say matter. I would say at least at least about four four to five months. Um, I would say I think my first heartbreak was probably like the the, the most hardest one. Because you're young, you, when, like I said, when I was 17, I don't know about your first breakup, heartbreak oh, when my you was first young. Heartbreak. I mean, it didn't have to be your first, so I'm just saying, like, the one that really had the most impact on you. You know, yeah. like, you know, when you're, because you're young, you don't know what love is. And once you get into, like, a relationship with someone, and it's like, now you're like, okay, I'm going to be dedicated to this person next you know, like, your heart is broken. Like, oh my God, I will never love again. Fuck love. Yeah. I hate love. That's a fact. And I know that love don't love me back. Shout out to my girl Ann Marie from, from Chicago. Girl. I love her little crazy. I love stuff. her music. Um, she, matter of fact, and I, if you're listening, Ann Marie, shout us out. But she did have a little uh, heartbreak of herself, and what I heard is that she shot the guy in the head. So that's she did. no seriously. <laughs> she did. So I mean, like this, but this She's is how. Crazy. This is why I, I would recommend to all men and women when you break, like try to. I don't know what's the easy way to break up with somebody, but I mean, try to make it. I don't know. Look, but look, it took me, like I say, this is going to get back to me. It took me about maybe about six months. Yeah. You know, um, so I mean, you know, so it, I mean, for, it's hard. It is really hard. And that's why we wanted to talk about it, because it's it's a subject that really don't get talked about. You're like, oh, just get over it. It's like, that's not that's not the way that you get through stuff or, you know, dating somebody. Else. I mean, so, yeah. Uh, because you, because it's constantly on your mind and you was with that person, right? So you're thinking, oh, I want to call them, but we broke up. So I, I can't. I mean, and normally most people don't, they're not like with their high school sweetheart for life. You know what yeah. I mean? Like you, you very find it very rare with someone being with somebody as a freshman and now they're married 30 years. Like it just doesn't happen that often, especially not I'm kind of glad that I'm not with um, a high school sweetheart. Like I'm glad we didn't meet in high school. I mean, we met in high school. I'm saying like, I'm glad we didn't date in high school. I, 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 I am think too. Cause I need somebody that's kind of been around the block a few times. If you know Who's what I mean. been around? Not, not I mean, I ain't saying you gotta be no hoe or no slut or no tramp, but I'm just saying like I, I don't want to be the first one up in that. You know what I mean? Just because you know emotionally and 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 you know just and plus I don't want to be you know I just don't want to be no nah, because girls go crazy when you you know when you're the first one and they yeah I, I don't I don't I definitely don't want to be anyways. That. People who I I no I'm not gonna say that's that because that's gonna be that's gonna be too much huh what what I, I was gonna say people who still together that was together in high school probably bored. <laughs> I mean I ain't gonna say that that's either. Been some years. I ain't gonna say that either. But I mean this is longevity. I mean you know what I'm saying as long as you are able to grow with your partner yeah and you grow because I would I mean because I know people who've been married for 40, 50 years and they're I mean like how do they keep that going so it doesn't have, necessarily have to be bored. It's the people that dictate whether the relationship is going to be bored or not. Yeah. You know, uh, now I do want to tap on like, like what is like some of the biggest reasons that people have like broke up. So y'all tell me 
Like, what are y'all reasons? I, I mean, the number one reason is infidelity, of course. Cheating. Infidelity. Cheating, of course. Infidelity, money. We've kind of spoke about these subjects before, you know. Money is a big thing financially, you know, where it's breaking up. And also, you know, infidelity. Yeah, when somebody cheats on somebody in a relationship, then it's usually like, oh, that's it. Like, uh -huh. it, that's your way out, you know what I mean? So, we're going to talk. So, now we're just going to go. We're going to go ahead and dive in on uh, the subject. Of it goes up and down. What? It goes up and down. Probably, like, being being with somebody since high school. What, being? Okay. Okay, so, like, this is the thing. Like, so... When you get with your, when you're with your, when you, when you, when you've been broken up, or doesn't matter who broke up with, with one another, it right? It doesn't matter who broke up with who. It does. It does. It but does. you think that the person like, that the person that breaks up with the person, there, it's easier for them to get over that person rather than the one that that broke up with them. Yeah, like if I if I, if I was to break up with that person, and you said, is it going to be easier for me? Yeah. Yeah, because I made the decision to break up. But what if you just felt like the relationship was too toxic? And you just have to make a decision. So you made that decision. That's why you made it. Because you're like, whoo, my life going to be so much better. Control issues is a topic. Yeah, a reason why people break up. Ooh, yeah. E so, like, is it hard to, like, see your ex with someone else? You know what I mean? Like, when you when you, when you you break up with someone, or they, I mean, it doesn't matter to me. I mean, I guess I'm talking about, like, Whoever breaks up with who, it doesn't matter because we're all gonna have to see that. Person. I think I think people still feel some type of way. I think people. I think you're still gonna feel some type of way. Like even if you broke up, you're like, how dare they move on? Like they should still be crazy about me. Like how so, dare you be happy with somebody else? You you still want me? Like you was in my DM last week. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, of course. I mean, that's that's kind of like a given. You want to know something funny? Um, this guy that I actually used to talk to um, in high school, he DM me just last week and was like you can't you can't be married right now because um you're still my girlfriend and i was like no i'm not and he was like we never officially broke up so you're still my girlfriend i was like bro no i'm not my first question is why the fuck are you even right <laughs> like? it was a joke it's a prank it's like april fool's trick <laughs> I'm gonna be like, why are you even like, why? It's a it doesn't prank. Even make sense to me. Like, why are you <laughs> even entertaining? Like, what the fuck is going on right now? I'm gonna that was good. Ah! Right now. Okay, y'all, get ready for Will summon up pranks. I want to prank this nigga so bad. Oh, this would be so good. But okay, anyway. Move that ugly ass napkin. That shit ugly. It's gonna be on YouTube. You know. Child. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was a good one. Okay, so. Yeah, so the person who's breaking up with the other person definitely has um, more control because they made they they made the decision to break up, and then on top of that, like, yeah, they're gonna be okay because they made that decision. Now they may want to change their mind later, but they still make that decision. So I think that they'll be better with the breakup. I mean, especially if the you other know, person who got broken up, it's like rejection. Well, especially hurts. if you see somebody like when you see it's. It's always all good till you see that person with someone else. Yeah. Like, that's the hardest part. Like, when you see the person that you was in love with, that you said, we're going to spend the rest of our life together, or we're just going to do what we're going to do. When you see that person with someone else, it will rip your, rip your heart out. And, and, you know, I was watching this movie, right? What's and the movie called? It was called uh, 35 and Tick. And it got, like, uh, Tamala Jones. It got Kevin Hart in it. Uh, and basically, the movie's about all these people in their mid-30s. And base and so you know so this guy was married to this girl, and um, she wanted to have a baby. He didn't want to have. He said, "I don't ever want to have kids. I never want to have kids." So then they end up like not having. You know, they end up divorcing kind of for that reason, right? So a year later, he she sees him with another woman, and she's pregnant. Oh, huh. now um. I, I felt bad in the movie. I was like, "Damn!" But it's like. Maybe he just didn't want to have a baby with her. With you. Damn. Dang. I felt so bad when I seen it. She was like, but you said you didn't want to. I was like, oh, snap. I probably would have had to take him out. You going to kill him? Yeah. I'm going to get the jack. I would have took him out. Yeah. You know yeah. What? I yeah, I would have took him talking. out. Yeah, take him out. Like, you know. Take him all the way out. Like, you you would have just had to be done. Like, because why you just didn't say you didn't want to have no baby with me? 
He did. He clearly told her that he didn't want to have a baby with her. But she kept pushing the issue. And but they was married. But the thing you is, don't get married to somebody you don't want to have no kids by. You don't have her, sex he, with somebody he, you don't have kids by. He told her in the beginning. Yes, you do. Because so every guy that you slept with, you want to have a baby by? No. Exactly. So don't, don't even go there. Don't even go there. No. Okay. So it's very hard to see your ex with someone. So how do you like move on when you've seen your ex with somebody? Is it is it now like a competition? Do you like look at him like, well, I gotta upgrade, I gotta do this, especially when you see a man or a woman doing the things that you that they wouldn't do when they was with you, but now oh, so you don't wanna have a baby with me, but now you go ahead and get that bitch pregnant. Woo! That cut deep to your core. Like, I don't know how you go forward with that. I don't I don't know how you I mean, okay, so this is how this is how you could go forward with it. You gotta get something in your mind to make you think it had to be something wrong with him. It was not you. Like you have to literally trick yourself in your mind to be like, it wasn't me. It had to be him. He he didn't mean to get her pregnant and now he's a better guy or uh, maybe whatever. his eggs, maybe his sperm count was low when he was with me. So maybe now that You turn back to your face. You turn back to your face and say, God See, God works in mysterious ways. He didn't want me to have no baby by that nigga. <laughs> but then he didn't upgrade. He got a new car, new house. <laughs> nope. I feel like, damn, I should have had a baby. Don't worry about it. Let the other person have my problem. You know That's what? Good. Yeah. But he didn't want, but he, he, you, he broke up with you. Ooh. <laughs> Look, I couldn't do so, it. This I'm saying, like, it's just, it's just so, so hard, you know, breaking up with somebody and have to, it. Look, this this is the best advice I can give somebody who who uh when they break up. This is how you get over a breakup. Move, move, move cities, move towns, move states, move, move the whole continent. Just move away. And you'll never be able to see that dirty motherfucker who did you wrong. Ooh. You go back, fuck that well, motherfucker. It's also about <laughs> separating yourself from um that environment too. Like let's say if it's social media, um, it just like just say if it's social media, like. Delete that person, block that person. No, uh, no, uh, uh, you can't block, you can't delete them. What? I'm gonna tell you why. If you delete them, no. then if no, you delete that per, if you delete, if you delete that person, you can hide their content. But if you delete that person, then that person's gonna see that you deleted them. Now they go about, oh, I'm getting to that bit. Like I'm telling you, people are petty when they break up with people. People are petty. They looking for reasons about. She still think about me. She still want me. Now I'm gonna post this. Like it's. I would say, I would say, I would say, hide all the content. No, I, but I would say, I would say, no, would say delete, no, delete, because you're removing that, at, like you're removing that person. You don't, you don't want anything to. I don't care what you think. To protect my energy, I need to delete you and block you because I don't want you in no none of my stuff. Like I don't want to see anything. I don't, I don't, I can't, I can't. No, delete. Okay, well then you, he said hide that. content. I say delete. No. Well, then I just think that when it's all said and done, what you do is just like have a social media cleanse. Get the fuck off the yeah, internet. Yeah. But you can't help it because every time, then this is what you do. You go get your fake page and then you go on that, <laughs> then you go on that man and that woman's page and you be stalking their ass. You be going on their pictures, going on their page and don't push like. And, you, and then you say some crazy stuff like, oh, that was an ugly picture. Like people do this. They create fake pages. Look, it was a, it was a, a famous people. This is how you know yeah. that feelings. It doesn't matter how much money that you have. Feelings mean everything. <laughs> Kevin Durant, he, he made up a fake social media page and they busted his ass. And he oh was like, God. go on and, and reply to all of the people who will be talking shit about him. He like, fuck y'all. He be saying all this stuff about this. Like, he had a whole page. What's and, wrong with him? Because, it mo it, it, and this is a guy who worth three, four, five hundred million dollars. But it was all said and done. When you are in your feelings about something, they, they don't give up. They don't mean shit. Kanye West. Look, now look, now look, uh, so I, look, Kanye West, I love you, bro, you from Chicago, I got nothing but love for you, your music is dope, what you're doing, you're a billionaire, but look, Kanye West, this nigga, this nigga moved, he bought a house right across the street from his, from his ex-wife, like what kind of crazy shit is that, Wait, love will make, yes, this is real deal, he, you got, he can be worth billions of dollars, so what he did was he said, oh, yeah, he bought a house right over there. Like, uh, -uh I need to, I need to see what's going on. He, he making sound like he is crazy. And but you oh, know, that's crazy in love. Like when people get in love, and you shit, motherfucker will do anything. And when you got, when you got money and you in love, shit, there ain't nothing that you cannot do. 
I don't know about moving across the street. Like, ew. Ew. You gonna look at your window just to see your your the past. I mean, but I mean, I guess I guess if he's doing it, let me let me let me rationalize this. If he's doing it to be closer to his kids. Nigga, you a billionaire. You can get somebody to go get them kids anytime you want to. Like right, you can move but, around the block, but right around the corner? And he he, tra he travels for a living. That's like I say. That's a little well, weird well, to he, me. If he's doing it to stay closer to his kids, then that makes sense. That's not why he's doing it. You can look at his social media. You can look at all the things that that's going on. Look at matter of fact. Let's just get off my boy Kanye for a minute. We're talking about I Will like Will and his little entanglement. He's still crying over Jada. Well, her little ball himself. <laughs> <laughs> look, I'm sorry, y'all. I'm sorry. He's still crying over her. You know what I mean? And I don't need... Uh, let's talk about... Let's touch on that really quick. Last week, we said some things, but my my, my view is different this week. What things I did don't, you say? I forgot. But... Well, I, so I your said... your view might be the same. You might say something no, the same no, shit. No, 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 no. I was saying that basically, like, Will was out of line for doing it, and I was basically siding with Chris Rock. But now, I, I'm not even talking about them, though. I'm talking about Jada. I didn't talk about Jada last week. I don't think Jada was really that mad, y'all. She just rolled her eyes. She didn't really look like she was mad, like, to go hit him. Like, that's my that's my take on it. That's it. That's all I want to touch on. Look, she didn't look like she was that mad to say, go with that nigga ass. Uh, look, she didn't but, look like she but was look, that this mad. Is why, this is why you clear some social media. Because they got so many memes out there. Oh, my about God. This. I saw the funniest meme about Will, this cartoon meme. It was the funniest <laughs> shit I ever seen. <laughs> It was funny shit I ever seen. So look, you got a social media cleanse with you. When you get out of a relationship with somebody, just get off. Because yeah. everything, if, if even if somebody posts something, you can be like, is that bitch talking about me? Like you it's always you always gonna feel that way. So the best thing to do is just wipe just just unlock, log off, cut off the notifications from coming to your phone, yeah. everything like that. Because when you do that, you are mentally like messing yourself up. Cause then you see all the other people that's in relationship. Cause you know. People can be miserable and they still gonna post. Like, we turn, turned up with Bay this weekend. Next thing you know, a week later they divorced. You're like, damn. But they, but they posted what everybody oh, wants to they see. Remove, they remove all the pictures. Everybody, everything. Everybody wanna see people having a good time, right? We wanna see each other. We wanna, people usually just show their best life on social media. They don't show their bad times or their worst times. They just show their best life. So when you're doing that, of course, you're going to see all these people who are madly in love and they love each other. And you're going to be so fat, sad and crying and in your feelings and emotional. This is another thing about um, how to get over a breakup. You got to have some supportive friends and family members that is not going to bring that person up or tell you what that person doing and screenshotting some stuff. Like that person is in the past and they just really should. They really should be. A non-factor. See, I don't agree with that. I think I don't think that you just wipe out the person out of your life in, in, in the fact that, like, don't bring that person up. Like, in order for you to get through something, you have to deal with it. You have to deal with it. You have to talk about it. You have to discuss it. This is what they would tell you. I am a certified life coach, so therefore, hey, like, Ashley. concentrating on, the, like, the future of what's going on, you still have, sometimes you have to address the past or the present to be able to get past that future. So you have to acknowledge some things, maybe acknowledge like where you went wrong, what you did, what you allowed him or her to do, and then you can get past it. But just say, say you know what, I don't ever want to bring him up again. That shit is not healthy, well, in my opinion. I said a non-factor, not dead, and that's why I didn't say dead. You want to kill him? Damn, no, I'm hard. saying, you know, the, you know how people say, like, that person is dead to me. Like, I'm not saying, like, wipe them out like that. I'm saying... The support of friends and family, meaning, meaning like people screenshot. You see him with his new girl, girl. Did you see this? Uh oh. So they made this comment. You know they probably talking about like that type of that type of stuff. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, or so, so, or so, your family members. It could be your sister or something and say, girl, guess who I seen today? Oh, I seen his old. Uh, so he had some girl like. So support. You can leave so, that so, and, and leave that where it says. So supportive friends. This is what you do when your your homegirl or your homeboy like gets broken up with or they're no longer with that person. All, all, so all my friends are people who get broke up with. What you do, you talk shit about that person. That nigga wasn't shit anyway. I don't know why you <laughs> proud about that old broke ass nigga. He ain't never had a job. That nigga don't even take care of his own motherfucking kid. Well, you you basically bitch you dodged the bullet with that one. Like you, you really gotta you really got you really gotta like focus on like 
down talking that motherfucker. So, Cause you know, you know, it's, it's, it feels so much better when you know, like, oh, that nigga wasn't shit. You get confirmation from somebody, but oh yeah, you know what? He really wasn't shit anyway. Mm-hmm. Or she wasn't shit. She was, she was just there for your money, bro. Like, <laughs> but, but, that, but then, that ain't gonna make him feel better. He'm like, oh no, man, I, I, just, I wasn't tripping. I was giving her my money, though. I'll still give her some money. Like niggas don't care. Nah, niggas do care. <laughs> Big men do care. You, know, you can't say that. Men do care. Like we have to see, uh, see, see, I'm see saying. how women just be dismissing niggas' feelings like just, just off the rip. Like, oh niggas, don't, yes, we do care. We just might not show it sometimes, but no, I'm do saying, care. I'm saying that that comment is not gonna make y'all feel better. My my homegirl saying that nigga ain't shit with his ugly ass and that, and that. It's gonna make me feel better. If your homeboy be like, man, she was just there for your money, you'll be like, No, I don't know what I know what me ain't gonna say. Cause man, y'all don't this, care. This, this, this like, bro, man, look, my homeboy hit that nigga, but you didn't want that like <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna make him feel even worse. He's gonna try to fight you after that. <laughs> look, me ain't go hard after women. Look, me, me ain't go hard. What? Yeah, yeah, look at Will. Yeah, really. Oh uh, yeah, Will. Cause I, I, you know, that was so fake. Oh, so fake. I don't know whether it's fake, fake or not because I can't prove it. But I mean, who slapped somebody like this? It, it was the ugliest slap ever. But you I mean, slap somebody, you gonna be like. No, nah, cause no, nah, cause you have to do it fast. Because if you if you do it like if you do he it like that. Jump. Yeah, but if you, he, he had the right technique, because if you slap the shit out of somebody, like I've been slapped before. So I know. So when you slap, so when, <laughs> mm-hmm. look. Now let me just look. Wait, I'm I'm faceless right now. <laughs> Don't make me start bringing out the b words now. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so we just said. So how do you get up with somebody? You know, you you break up. Social media cleanse. Uh-huh. Um, you got to rebuild your self esteem. You really got to put the focus on yourself. And be like, hey, like, I'm a good man or I'm a good woman. Like, you have to really empower yourself. You have to speak good affirmations to yourself when you wake up in the morning. Like, oh, look, I remember I back, I back, I when, back when I, I mentally, back when I was like, when I was like single and I was like looking for women and stuff like that, and I would get turned down a lot. But I would, so let's just say if you, if you holler at 100 girls and you get 10 girls' numbers, I mean, it's 10%, which ain't good, but. I always made an excuse in my mind of like, oh, well, she probably got a boyfriend. So therefore, it just makes me, it probably just makes me feel better. Like, oh, well, the, the 10 out of 100, that's probably a little bit not accurate. But maybe like 6 out of 10, I would get 6 out of 10 numbers. So Look, I was like 60%. You know what I'm saying? But, we got uh, a comment. So guys, guys care. They just don't wear their feelings on their sleeves like women. Yeah, yeah, because women go, oh, you left me. And he's like, shit, but I'm good, bro. But that's also why I, I y'all hit the strip club? I'm good. I'm good. Yeah, but that's Spend also why Spend his own paycheck in there. Crying the strippers in the corner like, oh, my girl left me. She's like, mm-hmm, daddy, you just have some more ones. We can get this conversation going on. <laughs> <laughs> Look, that's also why men have, um, y'all deal with mental uh, mental health worse than women. Because y'all don't talk about y'all feelings. I would agree because, I mean, you know, even when men, you know, like, if you talk to another man, you know what I'm saying, you're like, man, shit's your soft ass up. Like, nigga, get over that. This shit easy. It's like, no, it's not easy. It's not getting over. Getting over someone is, 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 is one of the hardest things you can do because you become, your life is based around that person and their patterns, what they do. Mm-hmm. Like, your life is usually based around whoever that you're with. So you're spending the majority of your time with them. You used to, like, y'all watch movies like this together every Wednesday night. You eat. You know, wing Wednesdays, Taco Tuesdays, Thirsty Thursdays, Freaky Fridays, you know, date night. Like, so your whole life is usually based around this person that you're in a relationship with. So now it's like, now on Fridays, I spend Fridays, you know, with somebody else. I try to go and then I'm laying in the bed and you get lonely. Like, you have to surround yourself around positive people. That's you know? also why um, when people uh, get divorced, they get married again so fast because they're used to that. Um, comp- having a companion there, you know. Um, so we got some more comments. Yeah, but y'all feel it once we move on. <laughs> oh, they do, boo. They be a booty hurt, swollen a booty hole. <laughs> I mean, yeah, because you know, usually, 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 uh, usually, and I, I don't know about all women. I see you. I, see you. I, I don't you. know about all women, but a lot of times, like when women get out of a relationship, they just hop to the next nigga, and it's just like, okay, and then it's like, damn, damn, you ain't even gonna give us no time. But I, nah, I see that with men and women, you know what I'm saying? Men, 
They go, but women, men go out there and like test out the market. Women just go out there and get into a whole nother relationship. Like, damn. Yes, we, we, we get into a whole nother relationship. How you, bro how you broke up? You moved you. on that fast? Let no, me dang. tell you. No, 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 no. It wasn't that we was moving on. We had already knew that you had some shit up your sleeve. So we had already been talking to another nigga that was trying to pay our bills and no, trying to take us out. No. And so that nigga just got so to you the just, place. So what she's saying is that y'all was already cheating before the relationship was It wasn't cheating. Over. We was talking. That is. What's <laughs> that? So if a man talk, talking to another Another girl on the phone. Is that not cheating in your definition? Well, that's why they are. See, they you see, you see up. that, you see that, you see no, how? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we go back cheating. to these damn double standard shit. No, it is still cheating, but she already knew you. She already knew y'all was cheating. You didn't know nothing. You okay. know, did you find it? Did you find out? Or you just talking is that, shit? Is that the same as women? Just know how. Is that the same? As women just know how to communicate their feelings better. Yes, I agree. Yes, you know, do. I mean, women know how to communicate because it's more easier just to be able to say their feelings, you know, to publicly to somebody else. You know what I mean? So, I mean, it's the men that move on quick. I mean, men, it's the men for me. I say men move on to, to to hopeless like relationships. They just move on to bullshit. Women more get into relationships quickly. Men are just go out there trying to take any bitch that have her to make them feel good. Then minutes. once you bust that nut, when you finish and you bust that nut, you look over and be like, damn, I just got with this booger wolf just to solve my problem. Now I feel even worse because my girl -uh. broke up with me and now I'm, now I'm laying in the bed with this ugly ass sea creature and now this is what I got to deal with. Like, no, so no. No, no. You're going to be just all right because you're going to be like, she's going to be like, you want to go eat? He go by hell no, I ain't taking your ugly ass feet, girl. You better get the fuck out of my bed. What the hell? I just, well, girl, I don't even know who the hell you are. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so look. Okay, so getting over somebody. So we already said rebuild your self-esteem. Hey, yeah. Avoiding a going after a rebound. When you are in when you are in a healing process, do not go to a rebound because what that does is that you'll get right into another relationship with somebody else and all those qualities that maybe your, your former person had, you start getting with somebody that has these qualities and then you get your heart broken over all over again. So you need to be in the same mind when you start dating again. You know what I mean? Like you have to be in a space to where you can actually you, be like. You also got to see what you what you could have did better and what that person could have did better and what you're not going to allow yourself to go through anymore before you just go into another relationship. Because if you just go into another relationship you really don't even, you're not even evaluating what the breakup is because sometimes the breakup could be just that other person just don't want to be with you, but it's still something that led that person up, to Christian make that Marie? decision. You know what I'm saying? So it's, it's, it's very important. I mean, I feel like that with any type of correction. Okay. You should always see what the, you know, the, um, what is it? The pros and cons of the situation. I and think... And what you're not gonna deal with no more. You gotta find out. I'm not gonna if that if I got a sign and I look at this nigga and I'm like, mm, that didn't seem too right. I'm gonna follow that sign next time. Or I'm gonna be like, I'm gonna make I'm gonna pay pay close pay attention to it a little bit more closer the next time. Okay. Or if you got a homegirl, like my nigga can't have friends. You can't have no you can have no girlfriends. Your girlfriends are my girlfriends. Like my homegirls is your homegirls. But you ain't got no friends that I don't know about. Y'all keep make sure y'all tap that like button. You know what I'm saying? We we need we need this we need this good energy. Now look, this is one thing that I think a lot of people they're looking for when they get into a relationship, but it's not necessary. Like stop looking for the idea of getting some closure. Like I gotta have closure. I. No, you don't need closure. No. Like you can just x that shit out. You don't always need closure to move on. Like how many? Have you ever read a book and before you got to the end of the book you moved to another one? Or have you ever like you don't oh, yeah. need I don't I don't believe that you need closure all the time because now you're looking. Well, I just gotta have that one conversation and then what he does, he will reel your ass back in and then you'll fall right back in love over the all of course I do it. Of course I of course I've done it many times, of course. But it's like you do not need that closure once you are done or once somebody break up with you and you know. But again, you still need to give yourself time before you move on to somebody else. Yeah. You don't need to make a a a, 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 a rational decision or what do you call it, an impulse buying decision. You know what I mean? When you just go ahead and say, I'm done with it, boom, boom, boom. Like, no, you don't need to do that. But you do need to just dismiss the fact that you do not need closure every time you break up with somebody somebody break up with you. Sometimes things just happen. You don't need to be, oh, well, I got I got to find out why he broke up with me. I got to find out what did she do better than me. It don't matter. Y'all ain't together no more. Fuck it. Move on. 
And I know they may sound harsh and they might sound, but it's just reality. Like you cannot hold on to something that don't want to be held on to. Yeah. So sometimes you don't gotta you don't gotta close the fucking door all the time. Sometimes the bitch gonna stay cracked. You don't gotta walk back to and, and you don't have to do that all the time. Or you can close the door in your mind. You can give yourself closure. You know, write a letter okay. and, and close it that way. Um, and you're not always gonna get it. The closure. No, can that you, they'll eat you up. Because the closure they'll eat you up thinking about you need. Because yes, closure is yes. usually closure is usually an answer that you need to make you feel better about why the relationship didn't go. And then uh, Christian Marie said that men do prey off your vulnerability. Like, oh, yeah. you need closure. Oh, well, listen, let me hit that ass one more time. And now he's already moved on, but he's still having sex with you. At yep. the same time, so now, like, he grilled you in to break your heart again and mm-hmm. again and again. And every time you're like, oh, what if, well, you wasn't doing it you now. You had this false sense of hope. You had you had a false sense of hope thinking y'all was going to get back together because he hit that ass. No, he already broke up with you. And he hit that ass. So now. And now he got free him. range because <laughs> he, don't, he don't have any obligations because y'all are not together. So now it's easier for him to come back and get some of this good coochie. Yeah, or the woman to come back and get some of this good dick. And then he is powers. Just don't give it to the wrong person. Another thing, y'all. You don't need closure. You need growth for yourself. Amen, Courtney. Hey, Period. and look, this is the number Period. one thing that people always go to when they break up with, with, with somebody. Look, put down the bottle. Stop yeah. always going to alcohol or drugs to solve your problem. That yeah, shit will not hurt. Thing. You know, you, do you do you know what um what alcohol does? Alcohol is a depressant. Drugs are depressant. So when you in, already in your mood, now you're like, man, fuck that bitch. Mm, never can't believe that. Look, I'm telling y'all, do not start turning to alcohol to drugs and think that that's gonna like help you out in your in your healing process. What that does is it really makes that thing worse, worse. because now you're sitting back. Now you got a drinking problem. Now you got a drug problem. Now you uh, now you're and not now you only, got a heartbreak. You're still dealing with your heartbreak. So now you're not only addicted to drugs or addicted to alcohol. Now you didn't get your heart broke. Now the alcohol and the drugs, because alcohol really makes you have a true sound where it makes you do some shit that you normally wouldn't do. It give you, give you that <laughs> Superman drug. You're like, oh, yeah. I'm going to go over here and do some crazy shit. Or, you know, like, oh, I'm going there. I'm going to kill this bitch. Like, people really do stuff like that when and they depending, are, when they be drinking. Depending on what's in your psyche, like, if you just watched a movie, you know, major, that's major, what's your, the deal? in your psyche. Or you just heard a song. You be wanting to take the actions that's on that song. Like, I mean, we rap the lyrics, we sing the song, and we become that person. Look, it's in our most, me, most men... Or women, in my opinion, now, I don't know for sure, but most men and women are in prison because of a man or a woman. It's some type of relationship factor. Like we do stupid shit because maybe we're trying to we rob somebody to get this jewelry for this for, cause so girls can look at us in a different capacity, or we do a crime of a crime of passion to where now we're so angry at this person. We walk in, like I said last week, the man walked in on the woman having sex with somebody, and he shot him, and he didn't give a fuck about nothing. So that's what I'm saying. Like you, drugs and alcohol, and like I said, I love drinking. Don't get me wrong, but when you're sad, it will make you super sad. When you drink and you start thinking about something in the past that happened or something that's sad, then you just turn into a ball or you cry, and next thing you know, you look up and you just drunk a whole fifth of alcohol. You're like, damn, that bottle gone. And then you go to the liquor store, and go get another one. But if you live in the Texas, after nine o'clock, you can get none, no more. So I guess that's a good thing about living yeah, in Texas. Yeah, living in Texas. Depending, yeah. on, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> Dep- depending on who it is. And you know what? You gotta stay. I had a comment. Go okay. get. The um, if we if we give up the pussy again, which is on you, because what you let him do, he will do. Yes. Yeah. And I, ain't no man after he break up with you, ain't no man gonna be like, I think we should get back together. It's us like, hey, so are we back together now? Nah. Or we just assume we back together, and then we be one looking stupid like, I see you out with this girl, and like, but we ain't together. Because, oh, I thought we was back together. Because look, the best pussy, Why? the best pussy for me is familiar pussy. Cause I know, look, when you with a new girl, you like, I don't know if she's gonna go down on me. When you know when you already been with a girl, you know she's gonna bust it wide open. She gonna Tell lick your really balls. Bad. She gonna do everything that she want that you want to do. So it's familiar with it. So that yeah. way you're gonna jump right up in there and hit that ass. Damn, you know you're gonna so bend it over, you gonna you're gonna stick your little finger in a booty hole and everything hey. else like that. You know what I'm no. saying? Look, a real talk, real talk. So everybody know. Familiar pussy, like cause but look, familiar pussy or familiar dick. Like that's what everybody do. It's like, oh well. 
I don't want to sleep with nobody else, so I'm going to keep fucking my ex until I find some. You, you, everybody know that I'm not lying. Everybody on this live know right now that familiar dick and familiar pussy. Excuse my ladies, I'm a nasty motherfucker, all right? But nasty look, that, look that's, that's exactly what people go to with. I'm just going to fuck my ex until I find somebody else. Or you know what? We just gonna be booty buddies until I get no. You are gonna be stuck in chambers. You are gonna Let be stuck. Let that dick go. Let it go, girl. Uh uh-uh. What about the niggas? Though? Hold on, my fellas and woo woo, fella fella. I mean, if she's still letting you hit it, that's on her. But I'm saying, no women do not have keep having sex with your ex until you move on. You're never gonna move on. Hell no. Because you're like, well. I mean, it's just good. So, and I, I, I don't want, I don't want to seem like no hoe. You're technically a hoe because you fucking well, never mind. Let me stop. Well, I guess I guess it depends on, especially if it's good dick. Like, don't run back to the good dick, nigga. Because no. <laughs> then you're going to be like, uh-uh, that dick too good. But you run back to a whack dick, nigga, you be like, uh, I see why he, I, I, I get why we broke him up. <laughs> but how do you know that it's whack dick until you've had good dick? Because if you, like I said, unless you're a virgin, that's why our heart be broken. <laughs> unless, you're, unless, you're, unless you're a virgin, unless you're a virgin, you know exactly what good dick is. You know what whack dick is. Some people just settle for whack dick because, you know, men can't control if they dick is whack. You know what I'm saying? Like, they're, they're happy. So it's they're like happy. sex isn't as important. And they look good together. Yeah, so like a little dick nigga just say, hey, you know what? To make you feel good, I'm just going to go on your ass now. So now it's oh like... Oh my gosh! Really? 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 We took it all the way there on podcasts. Excuse us, Girl, this is people, people want to hear the inappropriate shit. Look, you know all them hearts from the uh, going in the ass. Yeah, of course. I mean, you know. But look. Anyway. You know, another let's get back to the heartbreak. Why are, why are, this is exactly why our heart's broken. Because he's like, let me let me just go on your booty. You be like, okay. Do not let, your booty is for your marriage, y'all. <laughs> your booty is for your marriage. I'm letting these niggas out here just go on your booty. Yeah, you can't just let anything go on your booty. Like, oh, God, let him fuck me my ass. I girl. mean, dang. Did he propose to you yet? Look. One thing you got to do, though, you also have to stay busy. Stay busy. Stay busy, yeah. Don't stay just sit busy. around when you're in your room Girl, every night your by yourself. Girl, get your body goals together. No. Get your body goals together. No, that's, no, that's going to the gym. Going yeah. to the gym will motivate yourself to say, I'm going to be to be better. It makes you feel better. Going to the gym, uh, and that's not even just like you have to lose weight, but going to the, doing something that gives you that, um, that, uh, Take your supplements. Let me know if y'all need some uh, multi liquid vitamins. Take your makes, supplements. Boo. Going to the gym makes you feel accomplished. When when you leave the gym or you work out, mm-hmm. there's not nobody. It might be hard to start it, but when you finish, you're like, damn, I'm glad I did that. You feel better about yourself. I want to become a gym rat. Okay. I say go for it. <laughs> <laughs> Are you going to go with me? You should work me out. Of course. Of course I go with you. I'll work you out. I, I did podcast about work, work the shit out your ass, you, but you know they do say that you burn a lot of calories. They say you burn a lot of calories when you're having sex. Yeah, no, and and sex also does like increase like uh, your mental health. It makes you more mentally stable. No, yeah, no, for real. Out, you should totally have sex. I know. When I, I mean, yeah, yeah, totally but but I mean, because you know, like when you bust an like, oh, you release. I mean, I don't know. Maybe sometimes, I, you know, I guess it just depends on who you with, but I know sometimes. And ladies, get you a rose. Okay, like, this is not about sex. We're talking about Whoa, rose. Whoa, we talking about that. rose. We talking about getting over somebody. Yeah. Maybe that'll help you. Like, fuck that nigga. Exactly. I don't need okay, rose. we forgot that. Get you a rose, ladies. Get you a rose, and you will be like, nigga, where? Okay, you know what? This <laughs> All you got to do, he call you, you'd be like, shake that rose in his face, be like, Mm-mm. Look, this is I'm the busy with look, my this, rose. Is, this is the number one thing I would recommend to somebody. Cut off one hundred percent of the contact with that person. I thought and, you said that person. Should no, 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 no. I said cut off the contact. Cut off. Look, oh, contact. Yeah. Contact. Look, I look, and this is what I'm saying. I talk to a lot of women, and I was talking to a woman recently, and what she does is she normally, yeah, I know I'm sweating like a monster. For some reason, this podcast is gonna be hot as a motherfucker. Hot. You know what I mean, but That's all right. We're like looking, better, looking forward to better days. Better I know, days. I know, we, I know a lot of women that they 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 make themselves available to the people that they used to be in a relationship, so they don't change their number, they don't oh, block yeah. him. Like no, like I say, you can still block them without unfriending them on social media. You can block them. You can do all these things. Unfriend them too. I mean, if if, if if that's your choice, you know what I mean. Like that's your choice. But I'm saying like. 
Change your phone number or block them where they cannot reach you. Just block them so they don't have to change their phone number. Just block them. I mean, you can do every single thing because you do not want contact with that person because they can weasel their way back in on that relationship. Like You don't want... Because, look, there's one thing that I know for a fact that will heal all of your wounds. What? It's time. Time, time heals everything. Time does And heal. now time makes it... It doesn't, it doesn't make it... Like you, but it, what it does is it makes it to where... It's easier to deal with. You know what I'm saying? I think, time I think that I think with time, because it's not like you're gonna immediately stop thinking about it. I think with time, um, it allows you to process what happened. It allows you to 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 see, well, what this is what I could have did, this is what I couldn't did, you know, and, and and just basically like evaluate everything because there are so many situations that I've went through in the past, and I wouldn't say breakups, but actually no, I'm gonna say breakups, breakups. Um, you know, just rejection, different, different things that you've, you've experienced that probably took you down, you know, um, a darker road. I can look at those things. I can talk about them like, yeah, this is what happened. Like, I'm not ashamed to talk about those things. I'm not ashamed to say what my bad, the bad part that I, you know, what, um, I guess what I could have changed about it or what that person did to me. Like, it's okay to, 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 time does heal everything. Really does. It really does. It really does. Uh, time heals everything, guys. And, and so when you can think, when you, when you can really sit back and really think about that, like, man, you know what? In six months, I won't even be thinking about this man or this woman. Like, that's the thing yeah. that's so important. You got to look at the future and, you know, like, you know what? I know it hurts now, but in time, my wounds will be healed. Mm -hmm. I mean, that... If it's you, like surgery. Like I mean, it's that, surgery. Like if they say, "Oh, you'll be healed in well, uh, well, four months." Well, let, let's just think it. about that. Sometimes you don't even need surgery. Sometimes uh, if you let wounds heal naturally, mm. like eventually, Ooh, like they will close good. up. Like you don't have to have uh, stitches all the time. That mm -hmm. wound will close up. It will heal, but it takes time. Like you know, I have uh, years and years ago, about three or four years ago, I did tear my Achilles, and I chose not to have surgery. And over time. Like, it healed up. So I didn't necessarily need the surgery. I didn't need all of that stuff that could potentially have made it worse. Because yeah. a lot of the remedies that we're looking forward to, they make our situations worse. So when we get to a relationship, and then our man or our woman, they we, they leave us or we leave them. And now we're looking to jump on the next dick or the next ass to jump into. And we do that sometimes. That's not always the best advice that somebody can give you. Sometimes you just got to heal by yourself, just let it be a natural healing instead of always looking for some type of artificial love. Because when you find artificial love, you'll see eventually you'll recognize that that artificial love wasn't real in the first place. It's artificial. It's not real. <clears throat> like, I would say, I would say, um, something just came over me, ladies. Let's take a stand. You know, like let's take a stand. Like most women want to heal naturally, right? Until you see that other person in a relationship and then you're like i'm gonna get in a relationship let's take a stand let's just keep on healing naturally ladies 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 <laughs> ladies 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 let me tell y'all i mean let me tell y'all women something healing is get you some meditation no, but Meditate, I mean, it, say your, but seriously, uh, positive affirmations, seriously, self care. It, seriously, it is about you know, like to me, I think that natural healing is um is the best healing because even when she talked about surgery, I know like multiple people who have had multiple surgeries, and it's still something could happen, and now you have to deal with that whole process over again, or the surgery doesn't hundred percent you know cure what's going on. So it's like natural healing, like God giving us ability, we can heal our own, by our own self. Mm -hmm. And then you have to also surround yourself around people that will actually like lean into you. Yeah. You, you got to surround yourself about people who are going to lift you like, girl, I understand it's going to be hard, but you know what? I'll help you throughout this process. That's why it's important when you're going through any type of breakup. You got to have a, you got to have a motherfucker that's there that's going to. It's going to support you. It's going to tell you what it you can, need to hear. It it's going to be like, girl, you can do better. Like, you can do better. Or, man, hey, hey, homeboy. Because, you know, it's not just it's not just women who are out here that's hurt. It's a lot of men that's out here hurt. And a lot of actions that we do are based off of because we've been hurt. You know, I've been hurt before. So, a lot of the damage that I've done, and I apologize to all my women that I've hurt before. But a lot of apologies, uh, a lot of the damage came from, like, being hurt by someone previously to that. You know what I'm saying? So, like... 
men be getting hurt too. So you got to find some type of support system. And it has to be your friends. If your friend's not going to uplift you, that's not going to help you put you in the positive mind frame, it's going to be, hey, bro, put that bottle down. Let's just go hoop or let's go do something like that. Then you don't need to have them around you because, of, and that don't mean that you can't be their friend, but sometimes you just got to distance yourself until you're ready to be able to take that, you know, full-fledged. And, and, and women, that. we don't always have to... Um have a conversation about what happened. It could be just say, hey, girl, I just want to take you out. Let's just have a good day. You know, just show somebody a good time because you really don't know, especially if, if somebody, I mean, I, I really can't relate because I'm, I'm married. I've been married for 11 years, so I know there's a lot of stuff that that I haven't had to experience Shit. in the last 11 years. I mean, maybe not the last 11 years, but we've all, I mean, before I'm the 11 years. I'm saying the last years. 11 years, but I'm yeah. saying, like, as far as a friend that has went through a heartbreak, right, for me to just call her and be like, hey, girl, how you doing? Oh, I'm good. Da -da -da. I'm going to come get you. Let's go out. Let's go have some drinks. Like, let's just talk about whatever you want to talk about. You don't have to bring up specifically what's no, going on. You, you can just show somebody at the time be because... Cause, cause there's um, what is it? Is it um, I think it's like four thousand or five thousand negative thoughts go through our head a day, and so when that person is alone, you don't know what they're, you don't know what we're fighting, you don't know what but anybody's really. That's fighting. why I said stay busy, keep yourself busy. Yeah. And I did want to say this before, you know, before we end though, but you know, like um, um, it's definitely harder to get over someone that you've had children with previously to. So, I mean, you definitely have to, like, that is something that is very, very, that's why I say, be careful who you have children with, you know what I mean? Because, like, that's, it's way more harder to get, you know, get over someone that you have, that you've actually, like, had the potential to build a future, you've actually started building a future, like, kids are the yeah, future. Yeah. So, it's always hard to get, I mean, you know, like, every single day, men and women go through baby mama, baby daddy drama every single day. You know what I'm saying? Unless you're dealing with like two mature adults, which most people aren't mature because they let their emotions kind of get a hold of them. So, I mean, like definitely dealing with someone who had, who you've had kids by is definitely going to take a lot more healing because you're going to have to go through that person. You're going to have to see that person at kids games, graduations, uh, recitals, all this other shit that you wouldn't have to deal with, the normal breakup. You don't got kids with nobody, you can buy a piece, nigga, and six months I'll get over you. But now to see somebody that you're going to have to see for the next, probably for the rest of your life, like, your life. like yeah, when your kids get married, when you graduate high school, you're going to have to see them. Then when they get married, you're going to see them. When they have the grandkids, so you're going to see this person. It may not be every single day, but for the rest of your life, you're going to be seeing this ex. And you got to find a way to get over that shit because especially when you see your ex moving on and they're happy and you're miserable. So yeah. you got to find, you got to heal yourself and not rely on, you know, and that's why I say you have to always make sure that you speak, you have to rebuild your self-esteem and yourself. Tell yourself that you're beautiful. To tell yourself you're handsome. To tell yourself that you're sexy, you're intelligent. You have to make sure you rebuild your self-esteem because when you, especially when you, we are, when you get cheated on, you're always wondering, why did he or she cheat on me? Like, that's the thing you always wonder that you can't. And that's why I say you don't need clothes. You need to say, hey, you know what? They're lost. Exactly. They're lost. Those, that's the big, two biggest. That that right there, those were two words that she said is the most yeah. important thing that this podcast on today. That's the most important lesson. They're lost because you have to know how important and how good as a man or a woman that you are, that it's their loss. And that is the start of your healing process to rebuild who you are and your self-esteem and know that you are worthy of love. You are worthy to be happy. You are worthy of acceptance. You are worthy for someone to take you seriously. You are worthy. And you deserve all that. You and you deserve everything. everything every you single want. thing. You just, every man or woman in this world, no matter what you are, no matter who you love, you deserve to be happy, and you have to strive, and you have to plan for your own happiness. And uh, what I've learned is that your own mental health is big right now, and you have to focus on your mental health. Yeah, so whatever it is that's fucking up your mental health, get that shit out your life. X that shit out no your life. What it is. If it's if it's people, if it's situations, if it's if a it's job, family, if it's it don't a job, it don't matter what it is friends, for it yourself. Matter, it don't matter if it's a childhood friend. It, it doesn't matter. Like you have to know. You gotta feel your energy when you're around certain people. If you're around somebody and you and you leave from that person, you feel drained and you feel down and you feel sad, you feel upset, you feel irritated. 
That's not energy you need to be around. You 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 get around somebody, you feel empowered, you're happy, you're like, oh my god, I can't wait to hang out with that person again. I had such a good time. You can't stop thinking about how much fun you have. Those are the people that you need to be surrounded. And this by. Is what I'm saying, it doesn't matter who it is, friends, family, uncles, pastors, doesn't matter who it is. You have to do what you have to do for yourself. Cause, cause because when it's all you said done, night, you got to check yourself. You got to check in with yourself. If your mental is not right, how can you bring forth something to the table in this situation? Because you're always going to be emotionally drained in yourself. Yeah. So you always have look, word for the days, make sure, like, uh, what did you say? Know your worth. Know their your, loss. Their loss. Their loss. So, ladies and gentlemen, it's 730. It's been an hour. And I know that a lot of people tune in at 7. And we didn't have, like, a long. We're so sorry, y'all. Um, but next week, we will be on Monday at 7 o'clock. Yeah. So I know the people who tune in maybe at 7 o'clock and they only got 30 minutes. I know they're kind of upset. But we apologize about that, y'all. But this is the Will Sum It Up podcast. What's up, Will sure, Sum It Up? Make sure to go to we our YouTube channel. Up, make sure to go to our YouTube channel, Will Sum It Up. Like, comment, and subscribe because please, you, you don't want to miss please, the notifications please. what's going on. If you don't follow me on, on Instagram or her on Instagram or Facebook, look there, all the information is right there. Go to our YouTube page. Look. Play some music, man, because, you know. Hey, it's, 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 yeah. it is what it is. We're doing energy. Yeah, we, we play whatever. You know what I'm saying? Um, oh, we play some City Girls? No, nah, because then they're going to take our video down and say that, you know, you can't play nobody else's music. We're not doing music. Wednesdays no more because I work. My schedule changed, so we're doing well, Wednesday man. nights. Hey, a hand clap What's for that? everybody on this live right now who is actually, like, getting over somebody or going through the yes. process. And look, let, yes. me you, let me tell you. congratulate yourself. And let me tell you something. This is not the only thing. This is not the only thing that we do because what I'm telling y'all is that we are certified life coaches. Yes. So that means we are we are here to focus on your future. So if you do have any issues or whatever, hit us in our DMs. Yes. It can be strictly like uh personal. It doesn't have to be anything that's publicized. We can talk to you one on one. We have the healing process. We have things that we can learn that we've learned. If y'all have children, you got, you got teenagers. We we mentor children and so, uh i teach troy classes i uh, show uh, women how to shake their women ass. Empower, no it's, it's about women empowerment, empowerment. Don't you, it's about women empowerment women getting together yeah. to be able to get themselves develop that confidence in Most themselves definitely. and their, for you and to their, know you are that bitch okay and you fine you fine friend so y'all what's up all my i'm signing friends? out y'all god bless y'all Tune in next Monday. All right. So y'all get over y'all break up the right way. Peace.